Marcy Long is hated. This might not be news to you, but it was to me. Marcy has never done anything to catch my ire, so when I learned that some Fallout players were gleeful at the idea of being able to torture and or kill Marcy, I was a little unnerved. Just have a look at some of the mean stuff I found when I searched Marcy Long. I didn't... I don't get it. There are loads of terrible comments about her, and no seeming justification outside of, she's pretty annoying. Is there a lack of empathy somehow inherent in Fallout 4? Is this a symptom of playing games, or have the designers done something to facilitate this grossness? What follows are my thoughts about Marcy Long, and what looks like a lack of empathy for her situation, or maybe just her. According to Source, Marcy Long only says about 40 lines of dialogue. These lines are overwhelmingly negative, ranging from cynical to downright pissed. Marcy Long is not her dialogue. When you first have the chance to speak with her, she's scared and vulnerable. She's angry, but you can see the worry in her face. I can't just stay trapped in here. This is ridiculous. Somebody do something. When you finish clearing the raiders in Concord, you can see she's still unnerved. She's wildly dismissive of Sanctuary, with good reason. They're following the visions of a potential drug addict. Thank Sanctuary. You, our here. It's we'll safe see to about that. Out. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? She often makes paranoid or angry statements at you when you engage. Hey. You better not be walking into another trap. Sure, let me just stop what I'm doing to talk to you. What gave you the idea we're friends? But can you blame her? She's watched her son killed by the Minutemen. Now she has no choice but to put her trust in two people who wouldn't, in most circumstances, be helping her. Minuteman Preston, and you, a complete stranger. She watched her son die. I think that bears repeating. She watched her son die. She watched her friends die at the hands of gunners. It seems reasonable that she'd be a little upset. Marcy is direct. When she's upset, she tells you. I'll stop complaining when there's nothing left to complain about. She has no problem explaining her want for vengeance. Nothing I hate more than raider scumbags. If you run into any, put a few down for me. She tells you exactly what she expects of you. Help out or get lost. You'd better keep your mouth shut about this place. Can't trust anyone. When she's appreciative, she says that too, though she still maintains her cynicism. I'll hand it to you. This place isn't awful. It's still a hole, but it could be worse. She doesn't pretend to be someone she's not. She doesn't revere you or idolize you as some kind of hero. She understands that you're trying to help, and she'll tell you exactly what she thinks about everything you do. If you open the workshop menu as soon as the Quincy folks reach Sanctuary, you'll see that no one is assigned a job. This is expected. That's no one except for Marcy. Marcy, without request, gets to tilling the soil as soon as she gets there. From my experience with her, she has been the first one up and the last one to bed. She takes very few breaks, only stopping for a few moments before getting back to work. And she speaks with hardly anyone. She speaks with June about how he's doing, and she occasionally, or so I'm told, will request stories from Mama Murphy, which honestly seems strange considering her dismissiveness earlier in the game. I never once saw her avoid her duties. In fact, at one point I saw her taking on other duties, helping to fix the house. She has no interest in chit-chat. Sure, let me just stop what I'm doing to talk to you. I'm being sarcastic. Leave me alone. She has no interest in breaking bread with you. I'll stop complaining when there's nothing left to complain about. Marcy works hard, and it's difficult to know why that is. Perhaps she feels she owes it to her community. Maybe she thinks of it as penance for or a duty to Kyle. Perhaps she just feels a strong connection to the folks in Sanctuary, and she really wants to help make a better life for them. Or maybe she's just a hard worker at heart. Regardless, her work ethic is commendable. We don't know what she was like before Kyle died, but his death would be an understandable catalyst for a personality shift. Her cynicism and general negative behavior, however, seem focused on protecting her loved ones. Sanctuary. We'll see about that. <laughs> she helps June get his bearings a number of times. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. She gets more upset if Mama Murphy dies of overdose. Are you kidding me? What are we going to do without the sight? Everything always goes wrong. What are we even doing here? Marcy clearly cares. However, she has a strong and pessimistic personality, so it's not always easy to see that she cares. However, I watched her vulnerability firsthand several times. She didn't hide it. This doesn't manifest just in dialogue, but also in several pensive moments I witnessed. <clears throat> I 
As an aside, I read some comments that claimed Marcy Long has no right to be in pain, and that she should be thankful for everything the player has done. This is nonsense, and it's victim shaming. Sure, the lone survivor has been through pain as well, but this does not negate Marcy's pain. The lone survivor's response to their pain has been single-minded vengeance. Marcy's response has been working hard in outward anger. Both of these responses are understandable and, it's important to mention, valid. Marcy's responses to you are okay, and it's perfectly fine for you to just walk away. If I haven't made this obvious so far, I'll just state it outright. Marcy doesn't deserve hatred. She's tortured. Her life has been one of hardship, and the hardest parts are recent, so they're still sore. Despite that, she continues to live and thrive. She continues to do good work for those she loves. These are noble traits. She deserves understanding. She deserves your sympathy and caring. At the very least, she deserves your respect as a human being who has been through something extreme. I want to take a moment to note that Marcy's explicit character arc was designed by Bethesda. The amount of information they've provided, no matter how minimal, is all we have to go by. We can't engage with her any further than Bethesda has allowed. Additionally, although there is technically a clock in Fallout 4, time stands still unless the player acts. That means that time will not change her. She'll always be this way, like it or not. She can never move past Kyle's death. This will always be a part of her. As such, we really only have two choices with regards to how to engage with her. We can ignore her, or we can try to understand who she is outside of the story Bethesda has decided to tell. If you choose to engage with her, it's important to remember that how we read her is only our interpretation of her, and we should retain that understanding tentatively. She can't technically change, but our understanding of her should. Marcy's character is partially decided by the author, but it's also decided by her audience source source so as her audience we should maintain a loose understanding of who she is as we engage with her throughout the game you know the more i think about marcy the more i remember this quote imagine others complexly marcy is unlikable for sure she's rude brash annoying abrasive and paranoid but given the opportunity marcy will show you that she's also pensive caring loving and helpful She doesn't offer this information up at the drop of a hat, but if you take a moment, you can actually see this in her. So I say again, why hate her? There are plenty of other characters worthy of such a negative response. I'm looking at you, honest Dan. I'm not working with you. The offer's open if you change your mind. Got a proposal for you. What's your angle? I'm not working with you. Got a proposal for you. I'm not working with you. The offer's open. Got a proposal for you. Uh. Got a proposal for you. Not Shut up. But they don't receive it. It's hard for me not to see the possible bigotry here, but look, if you don't care about her, then don't worry about her. If you do, then take a moment to understand where she's coming from and where she's been. She's a person, and she deserves that much. You don't have to like Marcy. She very likely doesn't like you. But hating her is a bit much, isn't it? That said, if you do like Marcy, make sure to put down a few raiders for her, would you? Nothing I hate more than raiders scumbags. I remember. Pensive, caring, loving, blah blah blah. 